Just got back to camp. Some nice to get back. My trout are all clean. My tent's already set up. Just got to get a little firewood and we'll get that pan on again. I am pumped for some food. I am starving. Starving, starving. Let's get her going. Probably cooked the two smallest trout tonight. And then uh, I'll try to catch a few more in the morning and take home some for the family. Well, not for the family, I guess, but for me and the wife. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna have some hot chocolate tonight, I think. We wanna drink coffee this late. I'm feeling for the smallest ones. Two smallest ones plus a big thing of rice should be plenty for tonight. Holy cow, holy slick. Ah, there we go. Pretty slubby, what we call slubby. Those black flies over there. Red beans and rice. That's a stroke, huh? Complete. there. Oh my, 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 my.
tore the leg right out of my pants. My old fall ravens. They're done for real now. They've been done for a while, but I was still trying to get whatever I could out of them, but What do you think? Two big old trout and some red beans and rice. That'll do, that'll do. Same meal I had last night. <laughs> Let's get her done. Ooh, that hot chocolate's good too. Oh yes, right off the bone. So good. So I'm gonna have a cup of hot chocolate, another cup. And I'm going to brush my teeth and probably head in the tent for tonight. It's going to be a much colder night. I can already feel the temperature is uh, much lower now than it was last night. Absolutely beautiful area in here. And it's pretty remote. You know, it took me a bit to get here, so. Oh, that's good.
so beautiful. Quiet. There's the bird. Keep hearing an owl. Amazing. Good morning. What a beauty morning it is. Look at that. Friggin' beautiful. Some man is man. Let's get this kettle boiled for some coffee and oatmeal, of course. Oh, it's chilly this morning, though. Not too bad. I like it. I think it's supposed to rain later, so... Try to get everything packed up before I go fishing. That way, if it starts raining, I just gotta do the portage do the pond crossing and uh, load everything on the quad. Well, fish aren't biting. I might have had a couple of bites out of 50 casts or something like that. Might have to go back to the bobber and worm. Give that a go. I could toss the bobber and worm out while, while I try a bit of fly fishing or something. Seem like much is working, so we'll try that. Bobber and worm again. Hopefully, we'll have some luck. Well, it doesn't seem like they like the spinners much on this trip. Maybe it's a bit too early. I don't know. I don't understand it. it seems like catching everything on uh, just a bobber and a plain hook and worm. You know? Well, I just messed up. I got my fly hook caught in a tree. 
on the top of a rock face here. Up there. My fly hook is in the top of that one. Hmm. I can't stand up in the canoe and try to get it. I wouldn't reach it anyway. Can't climb up here. <sighs> I don't know if I go around. Try to get up on the other side of this rock face up on this point. Might be able to get it unhooked. If not, I'll have to just break the line. The bobbers out there, still no bites. I don't know what's going on. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Just not getting any bites today. But I'm not, not ready to give up yet. I'm gonna see if I can retrieve my fly hook. I actually just came backwards in toward land. Same rock cut. Let's see if I can get out. It's a bit of a tricky spot. Spot, eh? That's the little island right there I stayed on. Well, this is still gonna be tricky. Two dollar fly hook. Yep, what a day. What a day! Back down to the canoe now. Got one on the fly, finally. I think I do. Yeah, this is a small one. Oh, wow. Come on, come on, I'll let you go, I'll let you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just a little guy. Let him go. Man, I can see them rising all around here and uh, finning, you know, like like they're big fish, but not really getting, uh, got a couple little rises there, but nothing serious. Oh, the wind is picking up. So I'm going to head to the Portage Trail now and uh, get into the final pond there where my quad is parked. And I'll probably do a little fishing there. And then we'll go load up the gear and uh, head home. Well, we're back in the original pond where I uh, unloaded the quad. Whew. 
So we'll try a little fish in here, I guess. Hope for the best. Get a couple more trout maybe. And then we'll head her out. So I just paddled this whole pond end to end and didn't get anything on my uh, troll here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to switch out. My buddy gave me one to try. So, we're gonna give it a try. On the way down, I was paddling into a bit of a headwind, so as I'm going down, the wind should help me along. And hopefully it's not too much wind. This is a really deep pond. I just pulled into a little cove here with no wind, but out in the middle, it's pretty windy and the water is very deep. I really need a fish finder. Eh? I'd like to have a fish finder so I can see how deep the water is, see where the fish are hanging out. It's definitely on the list, but just not right at this moment. So this is the one my buddy gave me to try. You hook on here and you have this big bunch of flashers to get the attention of the fish. Yeah, so I'll try this one on the way down with the wind here. And uh, I may go over to the brook that runs in this place and uh, have a little try from shore there with the fly rod. And if I don't catch anything, we'll be uh, heading home. Let's head back out on the pond here and we'll give it a go. When I get into some deep water, I'll cast it out. Actually, I don't think I'm going to cast it because I don't want it to tangle. I'll just let her... Well, anyway, back down the other end of the pond. Never got nothing on the troll again. So I'm going to try and find this brook that runs into this pond. I think it's in the next cove over there. And I might have a few tries with the fly rod. I'd love to catch a couple more trout to take home. The wind kind of blew me in this cove. I didn't really want to go in this one, but it's hard against the wind here. Just channeling down this little, this little area. Well, it looks like I found where the brook runs in. And here it comes in from the other pond. Wind is blowing right down here. Might be a bit hard to fly fish into the wind, but I'll give it a try. I'll give a couple casts with the spin cast as well, but we'll uh, give her one more try here and I'm going to head home. Well, I actually got one on the fly. Not a bad one, but I think I'm going to let him go. Actually caught him in this little pool over right here. Had a try right there, sure enough, bam, hit the fly. Okay, I think it's time to go. We have arrived back at the quad. We got all this loaded up, hit the road. I'm going to head back up that sketchy ass trail. Going that way. Should be fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
boys back and got everything loaded in the truck or on the truck I uh, just want to say thanks a lot for coming along with me on this trip I'm working uh, 21 on 10 off right now so every time I get those 10 days off I'll definitely try to get a video or two out I'm just happy to be working in Newfoundland this year you know but anyway guys thanks a lot again I really appreciate everybody watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.